Hey everybody, I'm here in Galveston at my first Airbnb that I've ever tried to stay at. This is called the Sea Side Shell Shack in Galveston, Texas. As you can tell by the funky dory hat, I'm here for Mardi Gras. Got some of my Mardi Gras beads on and let's go ahead and take a tour of the Airbnb that I rented. So as you come through the front door, this is the living room area and it goes right up the stairs to where the bedrooms are. So let's look around, take a view looking back into the living room. Has a nice good sized TV and a fireplace, but I don't think the fireplace actually works so that you're allowed to use it while you're here. And then you walk through here and you come into looks like a bathroom here on the first floor has a toilet a mirror a sink then you come out and you go into a little desk in the kitchen area with some brochures and stuff of things to do here in Galveston. And here's the kitchen. Has a refrigerator, microwave, a nice glass top stove, a few shelves, and a double sink. And then the patio has two chairs and the, the back is where you actually park that, that's the only problem I see so far is you park out the back of the house but you only way to get to it is through the front door and you have to walk around so we're going upstairs to the bedroom When you get to the top of the stairs, you have a little closet that's got some washcloths and some towels and a linen basket. And then this first bedroom, which is what I would say is the master bedroom, has a TV, a decent bed, feels kind of comfortable, has a closet, with some hangers, plenty of storage. And that's a bathroom over there that can head into the bedroom or into the bathroom from the master bedroom. Here's the bathroom upstairs. It has dual sinks, a nice big mirror. Has a tub. Looks like they provide you with some shower gels and some shampoo. Nice curtain. And then here's the little toilet area. Turn the light on. And then there's one other bedroom up here which has twin beds and a chair to sit in, a little table, a closet with a mirror, looks like an extra fan, and another closet. Overall, I would say it's a really nice place to come and stay. It was very reasonably priced. I know whenever I was checking on hotels this weekend, the hotels were running about $175 a night. And I believe I got this one for like $110 a night. So it's a really good deal, I think. And I'll let you know if anything goes wrong or anything happens, but I would definitely suggest this place. Thank you.
If you like these videos and you like what I do, please hit the subscribe button.